there's a sin that leaves a lasting impact, one that echoes from the heavens to our everyday lives. This sin, the insidious pride, not only caused upheaval in celestial realms, but still reverberates in the pathways of our existence. It is not a trivial matter. It's the very sin that led to a cosmic war in the celestial realms, resulting in the fall of Lucifer himself. The Bible paints a vivid picture of the consequences of pride, and it serves as a solemn warning for us today. The Bible paints a stark picture, a cautionary tale, of the fall of Lucifer, the celestial being whose heart swelled with pride. How could such a magnificent creature, adorned with heavenly splendor, succumb to the alluring whispers of arrogance? Pride, the seed that germinated rebellion in the celestial realms, serves as a timeless warning, a testament to the gravity of this sin. The scriptures affirm that God resists the proud, James 4, 6. And this resistance is not an arbitrary decree, but a divine response to the inherent danger of pride. Pride is a sin that erects a barrier between the soul and the Creator, a barrier so formidable that it led to the expulsion of Lucifer from the heavens. It's a chilling reminder that pride, left unchecked, can sever the very connection that sustains our existence. There is a fine thread that separates the difference between confidence and pride, as illuminated by the wisdom found in the Bible. The distinction may seem subtle, but its impact is profound, shaping not only our character, but the very essence of our interactions with the world. Confidence, when rooted in faith, can be a powerful force for good. The Bible encourages believers to have confidence in God's promises and in the gifts bestowed upon them. As we read in Philippians 1-6, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. This confidence stems from trust in God's plan and the recognition of His work within us. However, the Bible also issues a caution against the dangers of pride. Proverbs 16.18 warns us, Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. Here, we see a clear distinction. Confidence is a humble recognition of God's grace while pride is an elevation of self above God and others. Consider the example of King Nebuchadnezzar in the book of Daniel. Nebuchadnezzar was a powerful and successful ruler, but his pride led him to boast in his own accomplishments, ignoring the role of God in his life. As a result, he experienced a humbling downfall until he acknowledged God's sovereignty, Daniel 4, 28-37. In contrast, we find the epitome of confidence in the life of Jesus Christ. Despite his divine authority, Jesus demonstrated humility and confidence in God's plan. Philippians 2.8 describes his humility, saying, And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Pride isn't just about feeling good about ourselves. It's about elevating ourselves above others, even above God. It's a dangerous mindset that disrupts our connection with the divine. The scriptures tell us that God resists the proud, setting up a formidable barrier between the proud soul and the Almighty. What makes pride particularly insidious is its ability to masquerade as something positive, confidence. However, the difference is crucial. Confidence stems from a foundation of trust in God, while pride grows from arrogance, conceit, and a deep-seated need for validation. Pride, beneath its facade of strength, is in reality a fragile state. It distorts our perception, blinds us to our shortcomings, and alters our behavior in ways that lead us away from the divine purpose designed for us. It is a false sense of invincibility that ultimately results in the desolation of the soul. It is essential for us to discern the thin line between pride and genuine confidence. True confidence, grounded in humility and trust in God, fortifies us against the deceptive allure of pride. In cultivating such confidence, we guard ourselves against the pitfalls that pride lays in our spiritual journey. Let's pause for self-reflection. In our quest for success, have we unintentionally overlooked the achievements of others to boost our own stature? 
Genuine self-confidence doesn't come at the expense of others. Rather, it celebrates the accomplishments of everyone, understanding that each person's journey is unique. Consider your driving force. Are you pursuing excellence for personal growth and contribution, or are you merely trying to outshine your peers? The pursuit of excellence stems from a desire to improve oneself, while seeking superiority is rooted in pride. It's crucial to recognize the subtle motivations guiding our actions. We often associate pride with boastfulness and showiness. However, pride can be deceptive, sometimes appearing harmless and blending into the background. It manifests in quiet judgments, subtle comparisons, and a constant need for affirmation. Identifying these subtle signals helps us confront the presence of pride in our lives. Pride has a cunning way of disguising itself. It can be the silent undertow beneath seemingly calm waters, waiting to pull us under. It disguises itself as success, masking the reality that true growth is mirrored in the reflection of humility. It's an urgent call for introspection. Have we allowed success to be a pedestal for pride or a platform for humility? Remember, pride does not elevate. It isolates. It drives us from the very essence of our shared humanity. It drives us from each other and, ultimately, from the divine purpose that binds us together. Let us recognize the signs, acknowledge the thin line, and resist the allure of pride. Yes, it's a narrow boundary, but it's wide enough for us to recognize the difference. Let our confidence be rooted in humility, acknowledging that every good thing comes from above. Reflecting on the cautionary tale of Lucifer, let us embrace humility and remain vigilant against the deceptive allure of pride. Humility connects us to our Creator, whereas pride drives us away from our spiritual journey. Recognizing this difference leads us on a path of redemption and restoration, a path away from the pitfalls of pride and toward the grace that awaits those who humbly seek it. May our hearts resonate with the melody of humility guiding us away from the shadows of pride. God bless you. By subscribing, you become a vital part of our mission to spread the word of God and uplift countless lives. Join us in making a positive impact. Hit that subscribe button now.